Hello, it's XO I think, otherwise known as Ashley. And this is my new goal setting video. Believe it or not, I actually filmed one for Moxie Life. I just never posted it. So I'm gonna quickly go through my Moxie Life one. And I'm switching this, not because I don't love the Moxie Life system. I truly do. I find the assessment goes well. That's why I got the companion notebooks. I just find I'm not using this. And the same thing happened last year. And I was really hoping the daily would do it, but I'm overwhelmed by the daily. And I've discovered that. <laughs> Cause I'm not using it. I have weeks and weeks in my daily planner that I can show you because I didn't use it. So uh, I'll just quickly go over my goals. I have 15 minutes to film this video. <laughs> So let's see if I can do that. So for personal, I'm going to focus on hobbies, so develop a routine to include hobbies that I enjoy, such as gaming, writing, and decorative planning, ideally four times a week. Um, self-care, prioritize self-care, tasks within daily do, that's what's for fun and recreation. I know that seems like it should be switched, but when I looked at... Do -do -do this page it has things to consider in each area hobbies are in this one and then activities and rewards and stuff like that and joy and celebration are in that one <clears throat> self-care seems like something like that like hair appointments nail appointments stuff that i always would do anyway deep breathing makeup basically things that make me happy uh, for work and learning, focus on school, for attending classwork, my degree, I'm also a teacher, so lesson plan weekly, um, social interaction, spend more time with my mom, or Nara. It says twice a month, I've been do seeing my mom actually every week. Health and wellness, work on habits, so work out and shower daily, maintain 6K steps, ideally work to build to 8K steps a day. Personal growth, finish outside PD course. I literally started it in December and I'm still working on it. Um, Tarot Weekly, Journal Daily, budget, follow make a budget. So I made a budget last year, like a cis budget system, and try not to overspend at least once a month. And then I also have save 5,000 for a puppy. I no longer am saving for a puppy because my parents have offered to pay for a puppy for when I graduate next year, but I still wanna save up money. And then physical environment maintenance. So basically just maintain the cleaning routine and yearly organization slash declutter list um, that I've already had. So that is my goals. And then when it came to my vision board, I kind of did a little bit. I used some stickers and yeah. That is that. So I want to move that into here. skip the vision board for right now just so I can focus on this. I want to write down my yearly and annual goals. Yeah, I'll see you in the fast forward. So to jump right into it, I actually skipped a page because I'm not doing my vision board yet, but I am doing my annual goals. So um, I'm doing one for each of the eight gap categories and there's three types of goals progress stretch and maintenance so maintenance are goals that Like things that you're already doing and you just want to maintain progress or things you want to add on to and stretch goals are big goals So for personal these are the things I've already had but I realized I didn't do a boxy life video yet um, So for personal my focus is hobbies and I wanted to develop a routine to include hobbies I enjoy, such as gaming, writing, and decorative planning, ideally four times a week. I am planning a few times a week, but I really want to add it on to that gaming and writing a little bit more. Um, so I feel like this is a goal I am working on. Uh, for fun and recreation, my focus is self-care and prioritizing self-care tasks within, within to-dos. So adding meditation, deep breathing, and ma uh, makeup to my daily routine adding hair and nail appointments biannually. These are all things that I used to do all the time and I don't anymore. And I've really struggled adding them to my routine, which is why I labeled it as a stretch goal. The other one was a progress goal. Deep breathing and makeup are things I've been able to do. Hair, I've been able to do. Doing my nails and meditation are two things that I used to love doing and I still find myself um, wanting to do them, even though 
I find myself not doing them because adding things to my routine once they're gone is what I struggle with, which is why it's such a stretch goal for me. Work and learning, this is simple focus on school, so attend classes and do school work for my degree, for work, lesson plan weekly, and this is a progress goal because, you know, with school I have to really work on it. And then family and relationships, my focus is social interaction, spending more time with uh, my mom, Nara, who's my best friend, or another person that sort of work at least twice a month. I am really able to do this. I meet with my mom at least once a week. Um, I, within this school, I'm, it's maintenance school, and within it, I'm trying to work on being with my best friend, Nara, more. Uh, so for health and wellness, my focus is habits, so working out and showering daily, maintaining 6K steps on a work day, ideally building to 8K steps. I've been able to maintain it and some days get 7K steps. I'm hoping by December to get 8K. I don't know. This is why it's a stretch goal. Um, working out, I got out of the habit of, but um, in January when I got COVID, but I'm slowly getting back into it. <laughs> um, I know it's been six months, but still. Showering daily, again, something I struggle with. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that uh, showering is an OCD trigger for me, um, but I have been able to do clean my body every day, even if it's not getting in the shower. Spirituality and personal growth. Just so far, I have finished my PD courses and do four others this year. Um, tarot weekly and journal daily. I find tarotting, using tarot cards, is something that really works for me. I am Christian, but whatever. It's like a spiritual thing I can do. I've, I'm also queer, so I've yet to find a Bible study that is queer friendly um, that I can find online. I know there are in-person ones all over the world, but I can't really go to a different city just to do a Bible study, okay? <laughs> That's why this is a progress goal. I'm focusing on journaling weekly, I mean journaling daily, tarotting weekly, and doing those stuff. That's hard, but I think I can do it if I'm actually make myself do it. Financial goals, focus on a budget made last year. Do not overspend at least one month and save up $2,000. Initially, that was save $2,000 for a puppy. Save, actually, it was save $5,000 for a puppy. My parents agreed to buy the puppy, so now it's just save $2,000. Still a stretch goal because I am riding the struggle bus when it comes to finances. I have yet to meet that do not overspend at least one month, and it's six months into the year. Physical environment, um, the focus is maintenance, so just maintaining the weekly schedule that I already have, the yearly organizing, all the trackers and stuff like that. This is a maintenance goal. So the next page after this are saving goals and payment goals. I decided inc to include my budgeting in with my goals section, mainly because this is something that I struggle with. Oh, I decided to do my, my vision board. <laughs> So what I decided to do was um, write out, I kind of got this idea from Tattoo Teacher Plans. I like how she does her vision board, but at the same time, um, I kind of wanted to make it my own. So uh, what I did what for this time was I wrote what the focus was. So of course I color code everything. So I highlighted uh, the category and the color. I wrote the focus and then a few things that I could do for that focus so for example for personal uh, for personal um, the focus is hobbies and I included gaming planning and writing so little things like that um, and I really like how it turned out by the way the pens that I'm using for this are my dot markers which are play color dot markers they're by Tombow I believe um, there's 12 colors of them and there's dot on one side and then fine tip on the other and I did gaming and self-care and then realized that there was a fine tip which is why it goes from like big wiggles to itsy bitsy wiggles <laughs> um, but I really like how this turned out I am not an artistic person per se I like how things look but again I can't really I want to say I can't really draw. Anybody who watched my bullet journal videos for the last year knows that I can if I put my mind to it. 
but I did not want to for this. I did not want to plan it out. I didn't want to do intense doodles. I just wanted something that I could look at. Um, I really like the Moxie Life system, but as I said in my planner stack video, I haven't been using it. So I want to pull all the aspects that I like for my Moxie Life into this um, bullet journal. And one thing I love is the vision board because I can look at it and physically see everything that I want to do. And as you can see, I'm also not afraid to use whiteout. <laughs> So for my savings goals, which is the next page, my total savings that I want to do for the year is $2,000. I don't know if I'll do that, but I might have a plan. I want to put money away in an account, every pay, stick to my budget, reduce spending, and follow payment plan. That's my plan. That's what I did for each one. Put like what I want to do, and then my plan to do it. So my payment goals, my things to pay are my credit card and student loans. My plan to help with that is to stick to my budget, reduce spending goals on fast food, uh, reduce monthly and annual subscriptions, which I did, um, coupon slash buy on sale, pay little bits on my student loan now via online banking, which is available now. I didn't realize that you could do it while you were in active, like payment, like while you still had an open loan because you used to not be able to, but you can now. And I'm so excited. Um, so I have a five year mind map and accidentally cut out, but where do I want to be? What do I want to do? Who do I want to be with? And how do I want to do this? I want to be still where I am. I want to own my own home. Maybe be a director. I don't know. <laughs> Have my dog. And then just kind of like more long term like details of what I want with each one, with each one of those. Like where do I want to be and how will I do it? Um, I'm not going into too much detail because I accidentally, my, this is where my film cut off. <laughs> my USB card. <laughs> and I accidentally didn't film it. <laughs> But I really like how it turned out, so I'm glad you got to see a little bit of it. I'm really glad I was able to sit down and reflect on this. The next page is my budget info. I broke this down to yearly, biannual, and monthly, as well as just putting notes slash brain dump on the other side. So um, for yearly, I have a couple different things that I pay. Um, I play to the Canadian Child Care Federation, I pay for Apple Music, I pay for Origin, Microsoft 360, Plum Plus, which is uh, the Indigo service thing. I pay to be a part of the Association of East Early Childhood Educators in Nova Scotia, I pay for Linktree and Disney Plus, and then I also pay for One to Share for More. I didn't add this to that because I just bought it as I'm doing this. I didn't realize they turned to a annual subscription as opposed to a one-time like they used to be. My biannual, I pay, and I also wrote down, by the way, the way it's working, I wrote down 
the month, the name, and then what day of the month it comes out. Same with the biannual, November slash um, March uh, for Blizzard, which is World of Warcraft. I joined that again. I'm so happy. And then my monthly, I have YouTube. I have Anytime Mail, which is my mail forwarding service from the States. Um, HP Inc. Because I'm an HP Inc. printer. Um, OneDrive. I actually have to update HP Inc. because my subscription changed. Um, I went to the next year up. I pay for OneDrive for Amazon Prime. BritBox, which is an Amazon Prime uh, channel, but it's where I watch called Midwife, which I'm obsessed with. Um, I pay uh, for Apple. Not Apple Music. I think this is where I get, yeah, um, pay for more gigabytes on my phone. PicMonkey and then Spotify. And I'm actually really interested, by the way, in my Spotify. So here's the thing. My Spotify is set up to my Google Nest Minis, the one at home and the ones at work. My director got one for everybody at work. And I chose, and she said, if we want it, we could reset it so we could use our own Spotify accounts. I accidentally, ours disconnected. And when I went to reconnect it, it didn't work because I accidentally connected to a different classrooms. I, we still don't know which classroom I connected to, but my Spotify wrap up this year is going to be all kids music. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see what songs we listen to the most. But yeah, I did that and then a budgeting page just for information. And that is my setup. So this is how it looks. This is my vision board that has all the details, my annual goals, color coded with the dot markers. And again, like I said, while I was doing the voiceover, um, there are three types of goals. There are stretch goals, uh, progress goals, and maintenance goals with the Moxie Life system. So I marked what type that was. And again, I just copy this right out of my Moxie Life. Savings goals, so what I wanna save and how I'm gonna do it. Payment goals, what I wanna pay off, how I'm gonna do it. Um, my five-year plan, I think this is where my camera cut out. So I kinda put where I want it to be, so I still wanna be where I'm working in my own home. Right now I'm renting. Done of school have Piper, my dog, and then I put maybe a director because I am actually interested in being a director at where I am. There was a position that opened up, but my chronic illnesses are still, I'm still working on that. And then on top of that, I'm in school. That's just not a good time. Um, what will I be doing? Still hopefully where I'm working, hopefully a director. <laughs> Still have pink hair, be a huge dog mom. I want a long-term partner and maybe have a kid in five years, I'm not sure. Who will I be with? Hopefully a partner. And then still in good with my parents and my brother and uh, his kids and my sister-in-law. Still best friends with my best friend. How will I do this? I wanna save up money um, for a house after my degree. Mom and dad ag did agree to co-sign. Um, stay with where I am and look for a partner. And I feel like this is very important with my goal settings because it's where I want to be. So where my goals are taking me. And then with that, I also put budget, um, because budgeting goals along with my goals are really important. So I wanted to write out where my budget was and then I put a page just for notes. So if I cancel something and I wanna write down other things, it's there. 
And that is that for my, uh, what's it called? That is that for my goal setting in my bullet journal. So if you like this video, please get a like, share, thumbs up, and I'll have a loot. I'll see you later. Bye.